Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the plan that the universe has for you. So the plan that the universe has for you is very different from the plan that the ego has for you. The way we have been conditioned to plan things is very rigid. It has a very controlling energy in it, forcing things to happen. It is very linear. It's like our plan is inside a box. There is no higher energy in it. And we also connect our expectations, our happiness to our plans. That if our plans go as they were planned, then we will be happy. Then our expectations will be fulfilled. We become attached to the outcome. And this makes the entire process very rigid, forceful. A lot of tension and stress also is created because of this. On the other hand, the plan that the universe has for you is completely opposite. It requires no force. It is very spontaneous. It can be only tapped into when you live life moment to moment, when you let go of the outcome. And when you have a really immense amount of trust in this plan of the universe that you know you are always supported by something higher than yourself, you trust the universe wholeheartedly. That trust becomes an inner knowing. At that moment, the act of planning becomes a distrust in the universe that you don't trust the universe enough and the universe is not separate from you it is the higher consciousness it is your higher self that has a plan for you that is guiding you in every step so you don't trust yourself enough that you need your human plans and that's how we have been conditioned we are conditioned in a way where we don't believe in ourselves we believe in our plans more than we believe in ourselves these plans put us inside a box because the moment you say this is the way to do it this is the one way and i will do it this way you become completely closed to all the other possibilities and that's the beauty of the plan of the universe that the moment you start living moment to moment you become spontaneous you become open to the multiple possibilities it requires an immense amount of trust not just on something outside but also in yourself a belief in yourself that you got this so this can't be understood with the ego this plan of the universe the human in you can't understand this because it transcends time our way of planning is in time linear time we always plan for the future and the future owns us but when you are living spontaneously you are no longer in time. The present is the space where everything is a possibility. It is the quantum field. It is beyond space and time. And if you want to tap into the plan of the universe, you have to become present and live in the present. You have to drop your stories, your planning. And you can't do that with the mind. Because the mind wants to grab the future. Grab the ideas of what a life is supposed to be. Our plans are nothing but our ideas and notions of how a life is supposed to be. And we are chasing that idea through planning. I need to plan this, I need to plan that. But you have a unique purpose, a unique journey. The universe has a plan for you. And a lot of times what we think of the plans are in completely misalignment. They don't align with who we really are, with our authentic self. And a lot of times we judge what happens in our lives because we don't realize it is part of something bigger. Like everything connects, everything is connected. If you look back, all the dots connect. But moving forward, we don't see that. So we don't trust the universe enough. We are always feeling insecure, unsafe because we are pumped with a lot of fear. We are always in survival and you can only live in the moment when you are not just living for survival. You know that you have a connection with this existence. You are not separate from it. The ego is existing as a separate entity from the existence. That's why it wants to survive and it can't live in moment because it constantly needs to be somewhere else. And this is the reason a lot of times when we are going to sleep, there is nothing to do. The night is there and we are falling asleep. We feel uneasy thinking about tomorrow. If we have nothing to look forward to tomorrow, the ego feels uneasy because it needs to grab the tomorrow. If you have nothing to look forward to tomorrow, 
that I will accomplish this tomorrow. I will be successful at this. I have this goal. You are trying to grab tomorrow. You don't trust that spontaneously something will happen tomorrow. You don't have to plan it. So you have to let go of your plans, let go of your mind and create space for this higher plan to express itself through you, to come out through you. It is always there within you. It is in your blueprint. And I recently read an amazing book called The Divine Design by Laurie Ladd. It's an amazing book. And that book tells you how we as higher dimensional consciousness come here, incarnate in this 3D reality, in this earth. We come here to experience the duality. And not just that, we also come here as light workers to increase the frequency of this planet and one of the most powerful realizations that I got while reading it is that we choose every experience. It's an amazing perspective, a really higher perspective that the ego will not understand because it's stuck in the problems. But when we choose our physical forms, we also choose what will we go through, how will the life turn out, what events will we go through, what trauma we will experience, everything we decide. Because it will help in our own evolution, it will help to evolve the planet and the human to the 5D consciousness. So everything is connected. Everything is in your blueprint, it is in your DNA. It's an amazing book. I will highly recommend that to anyone who wants to know why are we here? Where did we come from? It gives a very unique perspective on this. And if you are open to something new, you can try that out. So we have to trust that plan that we chose as higher dimensional consciousness when we were really in a space where we knew everything, where we were in unconditional love. We did not experience duality. And when we come here, we go through a amnesia. We forget everything. And the more we live this experience, we become so engrossed in it that we completely forget who we are, our true nature and everything. And the only space where you can remember who you are is this present moment. When you slow down, when you go within, when you observe your thoughts, your mind, and when you realize I'm not the mind, there's something higher, when you're able to be that consciousness in that moment, that's when you tap into your true self. And it is always there. It is always there in the background. But we become disconnected because we become attached in this reality. But when you become present and live moment to moment, you access that consciousness. And that consciousness has all the information, has all the guidance. You can call that the higher self as well. And it is guiding you. But it can only guide you when you listen to it. When you're listening to the voices that are coming from the outside. Your plans are nothing but the voices that you are following from the outside. That you need to do this. Okay, I will create a plan and I will do this. Then you are executing the plan. It is a box. And when you become spontaneous, you are trusting the plan of the universe. You trust the universe enough. And this is a pathless path. This is a very important point. In the 3D, in the planning of the human, there is a path which is predecided. A to B, B to C. But here it is spontaneous. When you take the first step, then the next one is revealed. And you just have to be spontaneous. Keep taking the action spontaneously and everything will take care of itself. But the mind can't do that. Mind needs evidence. Evidence, why should I trust? Because it only sees the physical. And everything that is logical, it thinks that is right. But a lot of things in our lives are illogical. They don't make sense at all. A lot of experiences that we go through in our spiritual journey, logically they can't be understood. The intuition, the knowing, you can't make sense of that. There is something that is guiding you. And you need to trust that. And you need to just spontaneously live your life. And that's how I have been living. That's how I unraveled my entire journey. Just by following my heart moment to moment. And when you take the first step, the next is revealed. It is a pathless path. You can't have the evidence before. That's the whole point. You need to trust the universe enough. You need to trust yourself enough. You just have to be present. And it goes against the entire conditioning, which is to stay in fear and plan all the time. We plan all the time. How much energy do we waste in planning things? We plan about what we will do next month, next year. Our entire map is created. And if we are not able to do that, we think we are not growing. 
our idea of growth is also very limited it is measured by the amount of money the amount of success which again is coming from the outside the society maybe you need something else for your growth maybe your growth is also about breaking the patterns breaking your generational curses healing your trauma breaking the cycle of trauma ancestral trauma there is a lot of stuff that the outside will not celebrate it is not a success for the outside world for the society so it's not just about living by the standards and planning because of the standards of the society it is also about changing yourself from inside out that's also growth growth is not just physical most of the time growth is something that you can't see physically you can't see someone's growth you can meet with an enlightened person who is at a very higher vibration and by the looks they might not look successful by the 3d's definition maybe they will not have that luxurious car or something but from inside from their state of consciousness they are completely transformed they are anchoring the 5d frequency their vibration is very strong so it's up to you how do you want to live your life do you want to really live your life in the way that you intended while having this human experience while agreeing to having this human experience because we get lost here because of the amnesia we forget why we are actually here especially when you are a light worker if you are here to assist to raise the vibration of the humanity you have to stop getting stuck in the matrix the matrix will give you plans that are not even yours it will tell you what you need to do you have to unlearn that you'd have to get out of this planning mind the more you plan the more you miss the divine plan the more you miss the plan that the universe has for you if you want to tap into that become present get out of the planning mind realize that this is a pathless path with each step you arrive when you take the first step you have arrived don't freak out where is the second step it will reveal itself when it's time you have to be patient as well with your journey and you have to stop comparing your journey especially as a light worker your path with someone else's path who is hooked up on the matrix who is living according to the standards of the society their path is very different and yours is different your purpose is different when you live from purpose the entire reality changes the life you live changes it has intention in it that intention is pure it's not just about extracting energy from goals from your plans life is much deeper than that if you have pure intentions if you are living for purpose you are doing something that the physical ego can't even comprehend your vibration will bring a huge shift in the collective human consciousness it is one of the greatest thing that you can do right now to inspire others to elevate their own level of consciousness that's how you are assisting not just humanity this planet as well so honor that realize the power that you are holding you are anchoring something beautiful on this planet so don't be afraid to shine your light don't be afraid to embody all that you are always express yourself fearlessly and the more you live that way you realize that this is the only way to live i trust the universe so much that my human plans are an act of distrust so i hope you enjoyed this video you can like comment and share with your friends and thank you for taking the time to subscribe much love to you all